Today we have a special device that I'm really excited for and that's the Invisigig and one thing that it says right here on the box it says super simple crazy fast and what makes this thing stand out versus other devices like the the GL Spitz AX is that this is an actual uh, router 5G uh, device so this the difference with the Invisigig is that it's a modem so you're saying why would you want just the plain old modem kind of like an old school modem for 5G instead of the router that supplies the internet well that's because maybe you want to do something like me and actually use another router which is what I'm gonna do and I have several routers in my house now as I mentioned this device said that it's actually super simple super easy now I've done a little research and so far I gotta say some of it's a little intimidating and that's kind of why I want to check this out because I want to see if it really truly is super easy if it isn't I'll let you guys know hey there's a little bit of finagling that I got to do to really get this working because I'm gonna be really honest with you guys I don't pull any punches here I'm 100% just new to this landscape of these modems and routers, just in general. I've used them for a decade plus. I've been on the internet, you know, but what I'm new is with this 5G capability routers and modems, because now I travel a lot, I'm on the go a lot, and I'm looking for something exactly like this. Now, I do want to mention the Wireless Haven did give me the Invisigig to go ahead and review and check out. I want to thank them, but in no way are they paying me for this review. And they flat out even told me, make sure you're brutally honest, good or bad. They don't care, and I'm really grateful for that because that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to be brutally honest here, and we'll see if this bad boy is worth it. And out of the box, we do get this awesome device. This is very premium quality from what I can feel. You can kind of see the fan right here, and it looks like we're right here is we'll go ahead and place the antennas. And then right here on the back, you have where you would put the SIM card. So very, very neat. Further going inside, we do have an Ethernet cable right here, which is awesome. It also comes here with a little, looks like a SIM card kit, so that way you can kind of help yourself if you have any troubles. I actually do have a lot of troubles at times getting SIM cards in and out. And then it comes with the antennas right here, which is awesome. And we have four antennas and each of those will go in here and we'll go ahead and plug that bad boy in. And then finally we have the power cable right here, as you guys can see. So, so far, first impressions, as I mentioned earlier, I think this is really high quality right out of the box, which is which is important. You probably don't want to, you know, throw it off a 10 story building, but for the most part, you can tell this can take a beating, which is something that I'm happy about because for me, I am actually gonna be traveling with this. Now, putting in the antennas, as you guys can see, is really super easy enough. There's no, there's no, uh, there's no special trick to this or anything like that. Just putting this in just fits in really nicely, which is awesome. And all the antennas are now in, and this was super simple enough to go ahead and install and get in it now we're ready to go one thing that i'm really liking so far is you know the claim that it's super easy they've so far have nailed that part in terms of just this this setup now i know there might be some firmware updates and some things we have to do but my initial thought is can it be at least out of the box if it isn't if we have to do that firmware update we'll go ahead and do that but we'll, we'll see what we can get right out of the box out of this. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I am not expecting this thing to work right out of the box, <laughs> even though it claims it's really easy. Let's find out. I'm ready now. I have everything set up. The laptop's ready to go. I have no idea what to expect. I have the Wi-Fi turned off on my, uh, my laptop. Let's go. Let's just plug this straight in. Let's see what happens. I am super curious. We'll see if it's as easy as it claims. I am shocked. And... Right there, according to this, it says we have something going on. It says we have internet access. Okay, let's try, uh, let's try some, let's try something. Okay, 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 we got internet right out of the box. You guys are wondering, do you need to do the for firmware update? Do you need to do anything just to at the very minimum get this bad boy running out of the box? There you have it right there. All right, let's try a speedtest.net let's see if this thing will actually pick up the internet and need i say more i haven't even done a firmware update fast always kind of gives me slow speeds but i still like to use different speed you know websites this is telling me that i'm getting 130 megabits right out of the box i am completely shocked this is incredible I, I just can't believe it. I mean, we're getting some, these speeds are actually better than what this device is. And I'm really shocked. This is the GLI Net uh, Spitz AX. I love this device, but this is giving me quicker speeds right now. The Invisigig is giving me better speeds. Now I know there's a whole lot to this device. You can really get technical with this thing. You can 
really navigate and mess with the bands and you could choose different bands and you can make it permanently look for like the best towers and all that junk and there's a lot to this. I've been looking up some research, I've seen it, but I admit some of it is a little foreign to me. I know I can play with it, I can learn, I will learn. But for me, the big thing was, can I get this out of the box to work? Can I do whatever I needed to do? I mean, look at this. This is just lightning fast. I mean, give me, give me another website here. Head to ESPN. I mean, it is lighting up. This is crazy to me that this thing is this fast immediately. I am seriously impressed with the Invisigig gig because I have not had anything come out this easy. Even with the Spitz AX, I had to do some messing around to get it to work. I'll admit, I haven't messed with every single 5G router slash modem type of machine and, and out there, but for me so far, the Invisigig gig has lived up to its bid. Right out of the box, this bad boy will work. Let's go ahead though and actually dig a little deeper with this thing though. Now real quick guys, I wanted to showcase something super insanely cool. I've gotten so excited since I opened this out of the box and I just saw it was working plug and play, nice and simple. I actually got this Anchor power bank to power this thing up to see if I can make this go on the go. I'm literally about to go on a trip in two days and I wanted to see, can I get this bad boy just working on this because I use this for the Spitz AX, but it works for the Invisigig. So let's go ahead real quick. This thing is completely powered by the power bank. I'll have that in the description down below if you guys wanted to use the same device uh, to power up your Invisigig if you wanted to go use it on the go. As you guys can see, this thing is completely working. I mean, as you guys take a look right there, internet is doing its thing with this. Guys, again, this power bank doing its thing, Invisigig kicking butt. If you want to take this on the go, obviously you would need to plug in the ethernet cable. Uh, so it won't be as like nice or intuitive as like a, a router that's on the go. But for me, this will be the one I'm using, especially since I'm getting better speeds out of the Invisigig than I have on any other device. Now, according to this, it's completely and utterly updated, which is awesome. It looks like maybe because I just received this device, they came already pre-updated already with, with the device itself. So I'm glad that I didn't have to do any messing around, but there's a lot of good tutorials online if you happen to not be updated. But otherwise, simply you just go to this page right here and then it'll tell you number eight and visit get check update. You go ahead and just get to that and you'll be able to do what you gotta do. And with that guys, let's go ahead now and test out the Invisigig plugged into a router and I have a GLI net barrel AX router. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if this little bad boy right here can power up this other little bad boy and see if we can get some decent speeds via Wi-Fi with 5G. Let me double check real quick and make sure that I do have the router, the correct router and not my home router, I do. So let's go ahead now and check this out. And I'm very curious to see what we're gonna get here. And so far, let's see what kind of speeds we get. And my goodness, I mean, does it get any and more insane than that? Invisigig powering up a little router like this at freaking 300 download speed and a, what, 15, 15 upload speed? This is a couple hours after I filmed last time, the last time I was showcasing the Invisigig, so um, I had to do some firmware updates to the router and some stuff with the router. And as you guys can see, the Invisigig was just plug and play. We got amazing speeds right here. I mean, this is pretty crazy. And I have to say, I am just insanely impressed with the Invisigig. The speeds are incredible. And if you guys are wondering, my goodness, can this thing actually do its thing with a router, it absolutely can. And finally, I wanna showcase what actually makes the Invisigig basically this pretty magical device. And it's something that I have to fully admit to you guys, full transparency intimidates me a little bit, but one reason that I really wanted to check out the Invisigig versus a lot of other 5G modems is for this right here. Because, because I am somebody who kind of doesn't really know exactly what he's doing. He's, I'm new to this whole thing, this whole, these 5G modems and routers and different bands and all that stuff. I'm completely new to this stuff. So when I did that Wi-Fi test, there's something that I did and I wanna showcase that. I actually went into network mode 
and it's very easy you, you hit this little yes button and you can change what network mode you want so you can do you know 5g only lte in 5g or lte only and like i've said before if i didn't say it one thing that i find really impressive with the invisigig is that what it does is it's kind of idiot proof it'll actually go out of its way to try to find the very best band for you but if you're actually willing to put in the extra work what you can really do is really nail down which tower around you is going to give you the absolute best speeds. Now that's something that I personally uh, is is something that I have to really mess with. And what I'll do is I'll give you guys some links to some tutorials on some videos that really show how to use the Invisigig in that way. But if you guys take a look here, there's the different types of things. So you can go into five here and it says band lock. And real quick, it says modem info, network mode, and that's what I went under number four, local tower and search. You can do all sorts of different stuff here. Let me go into band locks right now. And I'm obviously not really going to mess with anything too much. What I'm going to do is show, show you what, what you have here. And it says currently enabled bands. And it has all these bands. And what you would theoretically do is actually go through which bands maybe are giving you the best speeds. At least I, I'm assuming that's what you're supposed to do. If I'm wrong, go ahead and tell me in the comments. But either way, and then you go ahead and you lock in what you're trying to do. So it says choose which type of band to lock or perform to re or perform a reset to defaults. And I think what you would do is you simply would just type in the band that you're looking for and it would do its thing. Now, as I mentioned, I'll go ahead and leave some links in the tutorial. I personally don't want to mess with this stuff because I need to figure that out and maybe we'll do that in another video once I actually know what I'm doing. But one thing that really I think ultimately encompasses this entire device is that the UI is nice and simple. You don't have a fancy UI with all sorts of fancy looks and that's a good thing because it's very straightforward and just kind of in a way dumbed down so you really can understand and lock this little device into the most powerful thing that you're wanting to do. So if you're wanting to get this thing running at, some, at its most optimal, if you're trying to find that perfect, you know, the, the most speed that you can get out of this device, you're really going to go into these little, this setting and this menu and really knock down what you're looking for specifically. And I've seen tutorials on this stuff. I've seen it work in action. I've seen these things work really well. And overall, I've just been really impressed. The last thing that I want to go ahead and do is go ahead and check my phone and see what kind of speeds we're getting with my phone. Now, as I mentioned, if I didn't mention it, I've been using Google Fi. Uh, I have a sim card from google fi in here it's literally just their like generic sim card and that's what i threw into the invisigig uh and that's what i've been using with another router so just to give you guys an idea and i know they use the t-mobile uh towers but either way we get an idea of what the speeds are compared to what you would get now the invisigig uh running on wi-fi was at 300 that was with wi-fi this is with me using the direct phone and I'm getting about 400 download speed. So it's pretty similar and that's really cool. Of course, you know, I don't know if there's some sort of like bogging down of the towers because I'm using Google Fi versus actual T-Mobile, which I actually do have T-Mobile on my phone and Google Fi I know uses the same towers. So there it is. So you guys kind of get a comparison at the end. Now, if I wanted to maybe match the speeds or even surpass it, you'd go into this little menu down here and you would literally try to find the, the best bands and you would try to and really knock this out and get it where you want it to. So overall, guys, do I recommend the Invisigig? I gotta say, it's pretty idiot proof, which is something I was looking for. I'm an idiot, I'm just gonna be honest. I'm a complete idiot. It was very plug and play. It works wonderfully with a router. This thing actually worked mobile as I showcased. I mean, this thing really has it all. I'm extremely impressed. I don't, I'm just, I'm actually not more, I'm not, I'm actually not just impressed, I'm actually super shocked because this thing actually has performed better than my expectations. Not only that, there's even this thing where I think you can even plug this thing into a, an insane like antenna and that's a whole different ball game. I think I'll throw that up on the screen and you can really power this thing to its full capabilities if you're gonna be somewhere remote, which ironically in literally about two to three days, I'm gonna be in a remote part of Mexico and I'm gonna see if the Invisigig can work down there. I think it does in work internationally, but don't quote me on that. But either way, I'm very excited. So overall guys, if you guys are interested in the Invisigig, definitely check out this device. It's gorgeous, it works well, it 
does its job. It works in every aspect that you can imagine. And ultimately, I just could not give a better thumbs up. I will have a link down below if you guys are interested in this. I do get a little bit of a kickback if you buy it with my link, so feel free to do it. It literally costs nothing to you. And I wasn't sure if I was gonna recommend this at the very end, but I absolutely will, so go ahead and grab this if you guys are interested.